Okay, I'm going to show you how to use iMovie to animate your still photos. So the first thing you will do is open up iMovie. The icon is a little purple star and you will get something that looks sort of like this. Um, so the first thing you guys need to do is import your photographs. So you should have taken your photos. Um, you will probably have between five and six hundred or so images. Um, so what I would do is, is make separate folders, one for your title scene, the actual film, and then your credits at the end, um, and import them that way. So um, just to keep things organized, I'm going to actually, um, I'm going to create a new event under 2016, so I'm going to call this my stop motion project. Okay, and then within that I'm going to create a new movie. You don't have to do it this way because you guys will probably only have one thing. You can also just hit uh, File New or just click on that little new movie and you're going to create it. You should give it a title that makes sense. So I'm going to call this NHS Photo Stop Motion and then hit OK. So now you have um, an area where you're going to import the media, which would be your still photos. And this down here is your timeline where you will see each frame. And down here is a place where you can add music or sound effects. So uh, the easiest thing to do is while you're here is just click on your face and you should, on your finder, <laughs> just call it the face. Um, you'll be able to find your images obviously on the school computers you'll have all your shortcuts to the uh, the student drive here so I have mine stashed here um, and I'm going to just hit command A to select all of them and you can see that they're all in order based on their file name they're all in numerical order um, so once they're all selected I can just click here and then drag them into iMovie. It'll take a few seconds to um, import all of those images. Um, obviously if you have 500 images it'll take a little bit longer. So here you can get a sneak peek as to what these images look like. Um, you want to scroll through and, and sort of make sure everything looks the way you want it to look. Um, you, know, you can kind of see get a preview of how that animation is going to look. Um, so once these are all loaded you're going to drag them into the timeline. So you'll know everything is selected if it has that yellow highlight. So you just can click on a frame, make sure you hit command A just in case. So they're all highlighted in yellow. Now I'm just going to pick these all up and drag them down to my timeline. So now this is my actual movie here. Um, you can see that's 10 minutes and 28 seconds because each frame will be up for 4 seconds. And if you hit play on that, you're going to see that that's incredibly long and kind of doesn't um, illustrate the concept here. We also see that the camera is zooming in and out. That is called the Ken Burns effect, which we do not want for this particular project. So again, what you're going to do is make sure all of your frames are selected. So I'll just click on the first one and then Command A and you can see they all get highlighted. Um, and the first thing I will do is click on this crop tool here, which is showing you that what the Ken Burns effect is doing. So it zooms in and out sort of a thing. So I'm just going to click on fit. So that will fit to the entire image that I have. If you look through your images and you realize you know you want to make uh, you know crop in a little bit you can also do crop to fill and then you can change it depending on your needs but I'm just going to leave it at fit and then I'm going to click on this little check mark so that will change everything. Um, so then again if you press play you will not see that that transition you'll see that everything is staying where it should stay. Okay, um, and now we will also need to change the duration of the time between uh, each frame. So right now it's set at four seconds, and like I said, that's pretty long, especially for stop motion. 
Um, so you're going to click on this little info here at the top and you will change it to point 0.1 is the lowest or the, the quickest time I should say and then just hit enter and um, you'll see once we go here to play you'll see how fast that goes so you can see those little popsicle sticks moving quite quickly and you can also see that the time went from 10 minutes to about 21 seconds um, depending on how you shot your images you may need to change this maybe 0.2 or 0.18 or 0.3 uh, will look better for your images so it just depends on your needs you have to make those decisions okay um, so that is the basic uh, the basic steps for importing your images and then starting the animation. Um, when you guys have that chunk of film of stills that will be your title or your credits, you might want to add a transition in between. So you can go to this content library here on the left hand side and you can add transitions in. Um, so you can just literally pick them up and drag them in. For some reason, it's not working on this computer at the moment. But um, that is how you do that. And then you can also add music to your film. Um, you can click on iTunes if you have any music on your computer already, or you can bring in uh, an MP3 and uh, save it to the computer. But you could just pick up a song and drag it in to your timeline. Um, and you can change the length, you can change where it starts and all of that. Um, you can also click on sound effects and iMovie comes with some fun little sound effects so if you're animating like a toy or something like that some of these things might work really well for you so um, scroll through those and see if anything sounds interesting and you might want to use that and then again you would just um, click on the uh, sound and drag it into your timeline wherever you want that to go and again you can change um, how long things are and, and where they start and all of that okay um, when you're all done and you are happy with your film and you've listened to it and you've watched it you are going to go to file share file okay this is going to save it as an mp4 file onto your computer um, and then you would hit next and uh, and save it that way. Um, you also need to upload it to YouTube so you can do that through iMovie. You can go again to file share and then just click on YouTube. You just need to be logged in with your um, Nutley ID, your Google account and you can easily do that because you need to get the URL into your Folio HD site. So you can do it through here or after you save it as that mp4 you can um, also upload that through YouTube. You can just go to youtube.com and click on the upload button and then you will have that URL that you can add to Folio HD. So if you were to go to Folio HD um, so like here I just uploaded a photograph uh, a video I'll click on publish oh it's not letting me to okay well either way um, if I go to Folio HD and I'm logged in um, they did change the layout so it might look different than the last time we were in here so I'm gonna click on add files and then I'm gonna click on add a video and then I would just copy and paste my URL here and click on add so then it would look something like this where you'd have some images and also your video so if I went to visit my site I have my image and then I can also go straight to my video which will play right in Folio HD so viewers can see your film as well as all of your uh, photographs from the year so hopefully that explains everything you need to know about iMovie um, well, another thing I should say too is if you are interested in playing around with the sound effects, um, spend some time looking up some tutorials on that. Um, you know, any kind of unique or interesting thing you might want to try beyond what I just showed you. Um, there's a million resources out there to try. So 
Um, be creative and uh, good luck. Thanks for watching.